I guess I'm trying to miss. Tonight, we're going to be talking about Noah. Now, Noah was a good man. And he obeyed God. He didn't do bad stuff. He didn't drink beer. Things was bad back then. People didn't do as they were supposed to do. Only Noah was a good guy. People was running around, twirling cats around by their tails. Stepping on doggies' paws. They was means to people. There was no cable TV. Everybody was nasty. And God said, Noah, I'm going to drown everybody. But Noah said, well, how come, Lord? Because <laughs> Noah was getting a little scared. Yeah. God said, don't worry. I'm going to let you live because you okay. But everybody else is going to die. And Noah said, but Lord, that don't sound too good. And God said, it ain't going to be. <laughs> but what you're going to do is build yourself a boat. <laughs> Noah said, Lord. What you talking about? I ain't no sea man. And God said, well, you're going to be pretty darn soon. And he gave him these directions. I don't have the exact directions. And all the cubits and what's a cubit and this, that, they're a cubit. But it will be, information will be for sale after the summer for $15. And that's money that goes to the work of Jesus. So Noah built himself an ark. It was a really big boat. And Noah said, God. I don't think I need such a boat as big as you gonna make me have me make. And God said, well, you're gonna have some company. And he says, well, I was hoping you'd let me bring my relatives on board. And God says, I don't mean your relatives. I'm talking about animals. And Noah says, well, God, I don't, I don't really have any pets or any cattle. I'm gonna have you bring in two animals that there is, two of everything, male and female, so that when you get off the ark, you can repopulate. The planet. <laughs> and that's what he did. God said, All you animals, let's get one male and one female and just scoot yourself up into that there boat. So there was bears and rhinoceries and orangutans and horses and tigers and and uh, many other types of animals. I don't have a complete list, but a complete list will be available, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, after the service for only fifteen dollars. All the animals got inside and they was making a mess, pooping and whatnot. And Noah said to God, he said, Lord, I can't stand the smell. And God said, Well, how long can you swim? And Noah said, Maybe the smell is not so bad after all. And God smiled down upon Noah because Noah was a good boy. He complained a little bit, but he did what God told him. See, the Lord doesn't mind if you complain a little bit. He knows even though some of us has got satellite TV and that their internet, we ain't actually totally happy. So anyway, God said, okay, Noah. Get your stuff in the boat and shut up the door. So he gets inside and he's playing pinochle or some of the game of cards, I'm thinking, and suddenly it starts to rain. Oh, and it just gets on a raining. Rain for seven days. And all of a sudden, the neighbors start saying to themselves, hmm, we got a flood coming up, baby. So one of them comes over and runs to the boat and says, hey, Noah, it does seem to be getting a bit wet out here. Maybe I could come inside. And Noah said, I'd like to help you out, but we got just enough room for us and the animal poopy. I'm sorry. That's what he said. The animals kept on eating, and they kept on pooping. <laughs> Presently, Noah says, I'm a semi at a bird. And the bird came back. And he waited a few days, and he set himself out another bird. And the bird came back with an olive branch. And he said, praise God. <laughs> Dry land. So he knew that the water was a Satan. <laughs> then it sent himself out another bird, and it did not come back. <laughs> and uh, I don't know what that means exactly, but the complete meaning will be available for sale after the service for only fifteen dollars. Presently, the ark came to set itself up on that there Mount Ararat. <laughs> And that area, the Middle East way, <laughs> it's very far away. And when they got out, and God said, I'm going to put this rainbow in the sky. <laughs> and the next time I'm thinking about killing all of this, I won't drown this. i find some other way to do it. <laughs> so the lesson, boys and girls, in Noah's Ark is, don't piss off the Lord, because he pisses off rather easily.